So how we have to prepare for an interview in SQL is first we have to be clear what are DML statements, DDL statements, and TCL statements. This is very basic questions they'll expect. DML statements, DDL statements, and TCL statements. What is the difference between DML and DDL statements like that? First, you have to be clear with the basics. Once you are clear with the basics, then you have to go to the next level, advanced. Okay. Then you have to be clear with constraints, different types of constraints, primary key, foreign key, not null, check constraints. Here, we know practically what is primary key, but we want definition and the syntax. We should be very clear practically and theoretically. Most of the people know how to do the practice. If we give two tables, if I ask you to join, you can easily write join condition. But you are not able to explain the definition for join. If they ask you, like, what is join? You will say joining two tables is called join like that. We should get in a proper definition. When we have the data in multiple tables, if we want to retrieve the data from both the tables based on some condition, then we will go for using the joins. We will use multiple tables in from class. We will write join conditions in the where clause. Where clause will write join conditions and try to get the data. So that will be like a professional explanation. So that you have to start learning. So what you are doing and what exactly the query is trying to do that we have to understand. So constraints, you have to be clear. And then after that, you should be clear with the database objects, like table, index, view, sequence, materialized view snapshot These all objects you should be very clear what is the definition of index types of indexes what is view different types of views what is materialized view and difference between the normal view and materialized view difference between snapshot and materialized these all are database objects we should be very clear for all this including the syntax, we should be very clear. Next, when we are talking about uh, clauses, like we know, select clause, from clause, where clause, group by clause, having clause, order by clause, Differences between these clauses, we should be very clear. We have to be very clear about all these clauses. And difference between where clause and group by clause. Having clauses. When we use where clause, when we use having clause, where we can use having clause, these all are important, very important. Especially when we are going for a fresher interview or one year experience, they will expect this all our basic things. Then you should be clear what is meant by join, different types of joins, equi-join, non-equi-join, outer join, left outer join, right outer join. This is all you should be clear. And after that, set operators. Four different types of set operators which we have. Union, union all, intersect, minus. Definitions for all this. Differences between all these four types. When you will be clear that yes, I have to use set operator. Which scenario you will think that yes, now I have to use set operator. That you should be very clear. Then after that, you have to go with 
subqueries, very important. Correlated subqueries. Subqueries, correlated subqueries. Difference between these two subquery and correlated subquery. When we have to use subquery, when we have to use correlated subqueries. Because joins, state operators, and subqueries and classes very common when we are working in the project. Almost when you start writing the queries in every report or every cursor will be using this concepts. That's why when we go for an interview, most of the times they'll be concentrating on these topics. You should have a clear understanding of all these concepts. And you should be very clear about the definitions theoretically. Because when we go for an interview, they ask you, tell me what is subquery. Query within the query. Based on the nested query result, the parent query will be executed. And the subquery will be executed one time. Based on the result, the parent query will be executing and provide the result. So this definition is very important. You might have written the query number of times. But end of the day, when you are not able to express the things in the interview, then you got failed, okay? So that you have to start improve yourself speaking. By using simple language, they will not expect some uh, high level words uh, for the definitions. Maybe good Oracle documentation, you will find very high level definition, but at least what is happening, if you tell in a sequence order, then that's okay, fine. Uh, that also you can go for simple okay? So subquery and correlated uh, subqueries. This you have to be very clear. And pseudo columns. What are different pseudo columns? Where do we use this pseudo columns? And uh, SQL built-in functions. When we go for built-in functions, there will be hundreds, hundreds of functions. But generally, in the interviews, NVL, NVL two and difference decode statement two underscore date, two underscore char, date differences. Right. So like this regular use, regularly whatever functions we use, that will be used. Like string functions. String functions are also very important because when we are working the real time, when we are trying to fetch some data from database tables, they wanted to get some specific part of the string. They don't want full name. They want some text. It starts with the second position and end with seventh position, five characters. Like that, if required, then we use string functions. End string, substring, and then String functions, L trim, R trim, per case flow error. Those all are simple, but to be clear, those are. And what is the meaning of translate and replace differences? What is in operator, exist operator, and differences between these two? Difference between decoder and the select case statement. Difference between these two. What is difference between row ID and row number? Like this, these all are basic level. What I'm telling is a very basic level. So when it comes to the next level, we'll discuss the next option. What we are going to discuss the second level of entry uh, topic. Let's be perfect. This is a basic thing. Hardly takes five, six hours. In Oracle, in SQL or PLS SQL. When you want to be perfect, many people used to say that when I am practicing or when I am preparing the definitions, I'm able to recollect. But if I don't uh, do the revision or if I go for an entry, I'm not able to recollect. So that's that's an uh, because of regular practice, regular preparation for an interview, you do not have. 
So that is very important. Let's do that. Till you get a job. Till you get a job, it has to be in your hands and daily we have to do that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Fine, guys. Uh, let's go for a practice and uh, we will connect at uh, 5 o'clock. Oh, sorry, 6 o'clock. And we'll take the market. Uh, you have.